Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Baynet Weekly News. Sorry we missed you last week, but we promise that won't happen again. Hope you all enjoyed the Lee Bryce and L. King concert last night. It was amazing, uh, even though it was really hot, and it's still a hot one today. But without further ado, we're going to get into this week's roundup of news. Today's date is July 28th, 2023. Let's get straight into it. On July 21st, 2023, at approximately 1.28 p.m., officers responded to the 600 block of Charles Street for the report of a strong-arm robbery. Preliminary investigation found the suspect approached the 80-year-old victim and attempted to enter the victim's pockets. The suspect then punched the victim, who fell to the ground and was kicked several times. The suspect fled the area. Officers located the suspect a short distance away, attempting to engage another individual. The suspect was taken into custody without incident. The suspect was identified as Aaron Bruce Garrett, 34 years of age, from Washington, D.C. Garrett was then transported to the Charles County Detention Center, where he's being held without bond. The 80-year-old victim was then transported to a local medical facility with non-life-threatening injuries. A man has been charged with attempted murder after a 19-year-old male victim was found unconscious and with multiple stab wounds to his back during a large fight in Lexington Park. The St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office responded to the 2100 block of Winding Way on July 21, 2023 at approximately 11.16 p.m., where deputies and emergency personnel found the victim and requested a medevac. Firefighters established a landing zone nearby for Maryland State Police Trooper 7 and transported the victim to a local trauma center with life-threatening injuries. During the investigation, the suspect 19-year-old Steve Yer Hernandez Maldonado was identified as the assailant. Hernandez Maldonado has been charged with first-degree assault, second-degree assault, attempted first-degree murder, and attempted second-degree murder. Hernandez Maldonado was also served with two open warrants for theft and second-degree assault. He is currently being held on a no-bond status. The St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office continues to investigate the incident. An Anne Arundel County grand jury returned an indictment on Friday, July 21st, 2023, charging Charles Robert Smith, age 43, of Annapolis, Maryland, with 42 counts, including three counts of first-degree murder and hate crimes related to a mass shooting that killed three men, including a father and a son, in Annapolis last month. The indictment includes three counts each of first-degree murder, three counts of race-slash-religious crime resulting in death, six counts each of attempted first-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder, first-degree assault and second-degree assault, allegedly committed against six other victims who survived. Smith is also charged with nine counts of use of a firearm in a crime of violence. According to the indictment, Smith is charged with using firearms during the incident while at his Annapolis home on June 11, 2023, killing Mario Antonio Morales Ruiz, age 27, Christian Marlon Segovia, age 24, and Nicholas Morales, age 55. During the gunfire, three others sustained gunshot injuries and an additional three victims were allegedly assaulted but uninjured. The state's attorney thanked the Annapolis Police Department, the FBI, and other federal agencies for their work on the investigation and their continued support in bringing this matter to charging and then ultimately to trial. The St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office is seeking the identity of the subjects pictured regarding a theft investigation. On June 29, 2023, at approximately 3.30 p.m., deputies responded to an address in Patuxent Crossing, Lexington Park, for the report of two stolen bicycles. The bikes were removed from the bed of a truck in the parking lot. The three males pictured were seen on the bikes and in the area at the time of the theft, last seen heading east on Great Mills Road with the stolen bicycles. Anyone with information about the identity of the suspects and or this incident is asked to contact Deputy Ryan Campbell, number 408, at ryan.campbell at stmaryscountymd.gov or call 301-475-4200, extension 8157, case number 34588-23. On Wednesday, July 19th, 2023, Rita's Italian Ice and Frozen Custard celebrated their grand opening of their California location with a free Rita's for a year giveaway. Ordering windows opened at approximately 3 p.m. on Wednesday, and the first 50 guests in line were rewarded with a free Rita's Italian Ice for an entire year, already an amazing kickoff to their grand opening celebration. The event also provided visitors with free giveaways from the Rita's prize wheel, photo opportunities with Rita's mascot, Ice Guy, and lots of opportunities to earn free Rita's swag and merchandise. 
If that alone wasn't enough to get the local community to show up and out for Rita's, the boroughs additionally agreed to donate 25% of all proceeds from the grand opening event to the Clements Cuties Foundation, helping to provide support to local children and families that have been affected by childhood cancer and other life-threatening illnesses. Rita's Italian Ice and Frozen Custard is located at 226 3 Notch Road in California, Maryland. Make sure you try them out. Make sure you join Leonardtown for Warfest 2023 during August 1st, Friday weekend, which is Friday, August 4th through Sunday, August 6th. This exciting three-day celebration is being held in honor of the 15th anniversary of the Wharf Wonderfront Park. You may have already heard that the world's largest rubber duck, also known as Mama Duck, is coming to Leonardtown that weekend. In addition to Mama Duck's visit, attendees can also enjoy live music, kayak and duck raft rides with Patuxent Adventure Center, cruises and Waterman Heritage presentations from Captain Phil of Fish the Bay Charters, golfing activities with Above Par Golf and Entertainment, a craft and vendor fair, a duck scavenger hunt, games, art activities, food, and fun. Be sure to mark your calendar and plan to join the celebration. And of course, to end off every single Bayonet Weekly News, we're going to be covering some of the upcoming events coming here to Southern Maryland. And we got one that's actually happening tonight at the Rex Theater in Leonardtown. It will be Boots, Bulls, and Barbecue. There's going to be a mechanical bull. So if you're into that and you want to, you know, challenge yourself and be the best bull rider in all of Leonardtown, make sure you head there and, you know, ride that bull. You know what I'm saying? And then there's also going to be great live music uh, from Red Dirt Revolution. It's going to be a fun night. Have some barbecue as well. They got some great barbecue. Uh, so have a great time. I might even see you guys there, so say hi. But that's all we got for you guys this week on the Baynet Weekly News. My name is JJ Atchison. Have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see you all next week.